The WBL girls soccer title will come down to the last league night on Tuesday. If Elida beats Bath, they claim the crown. But if they tie or lose to the Cats and Salina beats Kenton, it's the Green Dogs crown. It's been an injury riddled season for the Green and White, including injuries to two captains. But Ashton Flippo and company have persevered as we see in tonight's OIO prep profile. We've really had to learn to not take any of our time that we have to play soccer for granted and just thank God for every moment we have when we're healthy and can play and um, really lean on him to get us through like the tough times. On September 20th, Salinas scored the game-winning goal in the final seconds to beat Wapakoneta, yet the Redskins still wanted to pray with their league rival right after. It was awesome that Wapak does that every game, even though it was such a tough game that we all came together at the end and we could um, pray together and worship together. And the Salina community has rallied together around longtime coach Dan Otten in his battle with cancer. Starting in June when I had the surgery for my cancer, um, looking back on it, it was a kind of a lost summer from a didn't get to go swimming, didn't get on the boats, didn't go on trail runs. You know, I was in hospitals and rehab and all that kind of stuff. But looking back on it now, I've told people, I said, this cancer might have been one of the better things, and there's a purpose for everything, one of the better things in my life of teaching me about people, about resiliency, about prayer and support. Everybody knows he's an inspiration. Uh, it's really, it's great to see, have a coach around you constantly that, you know, is a good influence and in teaching you good, like, ethics and good ideas, you know, for being a good athlete and working hard and that kind of stuff. I think anyone who has coached all in, like, knows he's a special person, I think. He teaches like people more about sports. Like he teaches you about your life, and I think um, like he's more than just a track coach or soccer coach. He really teaches you how to be a better person. The value of prayer and support of the people, the hundreds of people, thousands of people, maybe that have been praying from different churches. I hear, and there's no doubt that's what gets you through it. So I'm pretty positive, health-wise. I'm doing great. Probably as healthy as I've ever been. My knees don't hurt because I haven't been running for a while. Um, so from a physical end of it, that's what it is. I'm from a mental, I'm better off for it. And so that's where God has a plan for everything. I think this cancer got me on the right path in a mental state. I'm more empathetic, I'm more gung-ho about FCA now. And the way this meeting was today was probably our best meeting in the years I've been involved in FCA. So, you know, sometimes you think your downs are really down in the valleys, but actually it was turned upside down. It was more of a peak for me. I um, mean, the kids are great, my cross-country kids. Um, I can't watch them all the races. I go to all the meets, but I can't move around, so I don't see them a lot of times but I trust what they're doing and they know I trust and their, their um, willingness to serve me, take care of me as caretakers for the things I used to be able to do and thought I could always do. So it's kind of interesting to see how God works just in amazing ways and makes what we think are bad. You know, in his purpose, nothing's bad. Amazing story with Coach Dan Otten. Uh, so glad that he is still making a huge difference at Salina. A couple more fantastic events from Fellowship of Christian Athletes coming your way in the next month. Stites Grocery presenting Beyond the Game, a free night with the Detroit Lions chaplain Dave Wilson and his wife Ann. It'll be Tuesday, November the 15th, 7 p.m. at Lima First Assembly God Church. We also have a bonus for coaches and their spouses, a coaches date night where we feed you a wonderful meal and you hear from Dave and Ann firsthand. You can contact me. We still have a few spots for couples open for that. It's all free, both portions of the night. Then the following week, Jared Pugsley and Kyle Miller's second annual hometown Thanksgiving handoff brought to you by The Basement Doctor and TV44. We've had a thousand people last year in Lima and Elida, and we hope to do more this year as we add to those two schools, Bath and Shawnee. So four schools getting meals this year for Thanksgiving. Lock 16 providing those dinners. $4 a piece. You can be part by dropping off or sending a tax deductible donation to the TV studio right here, 1844 Beatty Road. The checks need to be made out to WTLW TV and make sure you include a note that it's for the hometown handoff. What a great way to give back as we enter the holiday season.